Hello and welcome to this new video. I'm just going to be doing a quick recording for guys and critters. I'm just going to be playing Flea. Normally I play a snake nowadays, snake or mouse. Um, I view snake and mouse to be the top tier characters. Uh, the tier list is pretty simple. It's just snake and mouse at the top just because of what they can do. Um, and then we have Flea and what's the space flea and bird and then we have rat and toy at the bottom now keep in mind that every single race has their own unique sort of abilities some some abilities overlap everyone's got like ground to ground ground to air air to air air to ground right everyone's everyone's got like some sort of option um I just I just rate or make my tier list based on like overall structure. Also keep in mind like skill floor, skill ceiling, these are really interesting conversations to have because it's like should you play something at the top just because the top limits or the upper ceiling is like really high? Well, it's a good question. It's like on the one hand, no, because maybe if someone requires like if a champion requires like a hundred APM permanently, you know, is that really good? Right? Like also, who is this tier list for? So it's not that big of a deal, it's whatever, right? We don't have to be this sweaty about it. Um, but in general, we can just say, here, I'm just going to try to avoid this guy's sniff. Try to distract them, lead them away. Nice. And I'm going to go over to him just to make sure he keeps his sniff up. Yeah, I want to be here just to make sure if he sniffs, he keeps getting the red. Maybe I'll try to path here on purpose. Oh, you don't want this? I'll take this. <laughs> um, so... Ooh. He had the red sniff for a moment. This is why it's really good to bind your town hall. I mean, you should be binding your town hall no matter what, right? Um, I bind it to two, personally. But just make sure you're checking your town hall, just to see, right? Just to see if it's red. Because even if you don't get any alerts on the map, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not being checked. Spend the Q button and get the Econ 1 going right away. I'll be the red sniff. I'm just going to DPS him a little bit. Just so that he maybe uses some mana. Noob cats will always try to actually kill you. You have to remember that the balance of the game dictates that they can't just like kill you straight up for the most part. And I'm just gonna lead him away. Nice. Nice, very nice. Good, 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 good. I'm able to just kind of distract him. Thank you, love. Would you like to show the camera? Gotcha. Here, guys. My girlfriend just made me some, some nice food here. Once I'm, once I'm safe, once I'm fully safe, I'll uh, let me show you guys. Would you like to introduce the dish, Lav? It's bulgogi stir-fried udon. Bulgogi stir-fried udon. Let's take a look. Homemade. Homemade. Mmm. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Try some. Yeah, yeah, I'll try some. Let me make sure this is on auto. He is being distracted. Oh, nice. Oh my god, that sauce is amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Did you make yourself some? I had to make myself some. Mmm, this is great. Oh my goodness, so flavorful. Let's throw a flea ling in front of him, try to block, and then move away. This guy's just wasting his time. That's whatever. Can you now try the bulgogi will. itself? I'll try the bulgogi in a moment. Oh, he's got a bunch of laser pointers. So, what are the, what are the bills that I wanted to demonstrate to you guys? Try to lead him away from my base. Yeah, yeah good. Let's drop a let's drop a baneling nest. Take off auto cast. Ah, he's gonna be following me. This is a little bit frustrating because you're not supposed to do this as a cat. This is not actually good. This is not good gameplay because you're you're most likely not going to get me. 
And I'll just be taking your time. So, okay, nice. He's moving away now. One of the most basic builds you can do as Flea is just do Polycosis Fleas. But you have to make sure you're microing properly. And I'll show you what I mean by this. Most of the time, noob players will literally just run their Fleas into someone. But the issue with that is there's splash damage in this game, particularly the cat's auto attack, okay? And so keeping that in mind, you have to think about how you're going to use your fleas to maximum effectiveness, all right? And most of the time that involves not clumping your fleas up. As much as you'd like to play fleas like this mass attacking unit, you have to think tactically, okay? So here I'm going to make... A bunch of little fleas. I'm gonna get Polycosis, that's the upgrade to increase movement speed and a little bit of damage. I'm gonna upgrade to Jumping Flea Tree, or Greater Flea Tree, whatever. This way I can get access to the, the super the super damage. Basically, these guys these guys are really fast, really squishy, and they do quite a bit to the um, the, the, the cats. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mass them up real quick. Uh, we have an extra spot here as well, it's good. Let's just free this guy. So yeah, they, they, they're they really good because they can make a concave around the cat himself and just like DPS him, right? But the problem is, again, like I said, they get they get AoE'd. So, so what you have to do is you actually have to go in small groups, okay? And try to get around him. That way, because he hits in a cone, right? And if he hits in a cone, you don't actually want to be hitting him too hard um, with all your units. You want to hit little bits at a time. So I'll just demonstrate what I mean. I'll send in a little bit of my dudes, a couple of my dudes at a time, and just space them out. Just space them out. And my finger is kind of injured still, but if I can micro this, I can go to the other side like this. And now we're playing from three directions, northeast and west. Good. Let's make some more. And let's make some Scourge. This way we can do the um, we can do the flea thingy. The buff. Perfect, perfect. Here we go. Ooh, when they have a clump like this, it's gonna be a little bit tough. Someone's lagging. Someone is lagging. Not me, right? Yeah. Ooh, time to eat. Meanwhile, I'm econing. Mmm. Mmm. This meat is so tender, man. Pop ah. Uh. Oh, I can't give me some. Come here. <laughs> I did a great job. You did a great job? Yes, you did. I love this. You could sell this for like seventeen dollars US. And it's affordable. It seems healthy. Mm. It's good. Mm. Okay, let's auto cast our econ. Immediately start attacking. And I'm just gonna text some late game upgrades as well. Let's add this six. Save this one flea here. We've got a huge mass, we can get even more supply here. And we're just gonna go delete those guys. We're gonna delete them immediately. Here we are. Bunch them up. Remember, these make them do one extra damage per buff. You can stack up to three. And they make them move really fast. Now we don't want to lose every single one of these. I want to make sure we're attacking in groups. So I'm going to cut them in half here. Move this underneath. Shift click. Go like this. You see how they just get AoE? I need to make sure I'm sending them only little bits at a time. And try to spread them out. This guy actually tech damage upgrade? Oh no. You see what happens when you approach from one direction? Man, if I had access to my middle finger, it'd be nice. It'd be really nice to be able to play. Ah. On my base. 
It's okay though. Let's make more. And just keep harassing. Because these are really cheap. Really, really cheap to build. Yeah, if I got my Polokosis earlier, um, you don't have to do it with the Flea Dust strategy where you buff them. You could just do it on like Econ 1. And just spam. It's very spammable to build. Probably need more Bane than this. Yeah, the cats are moving together. That's the issue. It's okay. Let's get my uh, wall upgrades, my cannon. Once we get up to, let's say, 4,000, we can just go. Okay. Let's cut half of them. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go deal with these laser pointers as well. Okay, try hardest to micro this properly. In half here. Little bits, little bits. Oh my goodness, I'm not clicking properly. I can't click with my my ring finger. Nice. Right, so keep these, keep these on the side. He's already being swarmed. There's already a concave. I don't need to go yet. Now I go. Try to surround. Get a nice surround. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go harass this guy now. He's got lurkers. I'm gonna try to kill them. Nice, nice. I'm getting free kills on these mobs. Remember, the lurker auto attacks need to take a little bit of time to travel. So you can't actually dodge them if you're moving properly. Even one or two fleas can do quite a bit of work. Okay, let's set up. Let's try to set up at the same time. Need a roach horn. We can do this for now. Oh shit! Did it shoot that? Let's get three here because I have super high econ. Oh my goodness! There were lurkers in center. I just sent my fleas to die. Please, bit of a mistake. Now I need my brood lords early. He saw my base because I uh I showed. That's fine, that's fine. What I can do here is I can just hold with just a couple of brood lords. I need to make sure I'm spreading. So he doesn't just roar them all. Good. Rebuild the walls. I know they cost a little bit. That's fine though. Okay. Spread them out. Here, let's let's take slime shot. And the reason why is because one single slime roach will increase your defensive capabilities by a lot. Because it slows their movement speed and attack speed. I don't know why they're so strong, but they are. Take my word for it. Uh, it goes from, what, 0.85 attack speed, something like that? 0.86 to uh, 109 instead. That is an insane... Uh, that is an insane amount. Oh, that range. Here, let's toss down some flea links so I can actually see these lurkers. So when I approach... 
I can start hitting. Oh, wait. This is actually a really good counter to get the Lurkers. Because they delete my shit immediately. That's fine. Here we are. The one Slime Roach. Look at this. Plus 21, actually. Or 2-1. Try to dodge these shots. If we're hitting from a huge distance, we're good. I need one Scourge here. That way I can see the rest of these uh, Lurkers. And I can actually target them. Form the Concave. Multiple points of contact here. That way we're not just... Uh, Getting surrounded. Or sorry, that that way we're not just clumping. Rather. I need these scourges to debilitate. There we go, now we can see them, now we can hit them. Good. Now let's just eight click this. Good. Place this wall. I can't ion just yet. It would be nice to have some support. Let's put some cannons in the back. Try not to place them too close to each other so they don't just get immediately BPS. Yeah, and this one slime roach is going to do wonders for us. Actually, I will clump them now. Just before someone hits. If no one hits, I don't mind just um, hitting the ion button. Yeah, because I see a cat in, in the bottom left here, and I see this guy over here. Oh my god, we just deleted that. Okay, let's put the fleet cocoon here. Oh, he left some lurkers here. Space him out, funky. He can still kill these pretty easily. Oh, really? What the hell? He actually just shot that? Let's just get rid of these. Good. Okay, we have 20 Brood Lords. You could just spam cannons in every spot if you'd like. He left the game. Hmm. GG. Thanks for watching.